Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Cast. I am your host, Seishu, and today I'm speaking with Anna Kaneki, who is a a writer, a coach, a mother, and a heathen mystic. I'm, I want to know about heathen mystic for sure, but I wanted to invite her to speak to us today and speak with me today about her uh, participation, her appearance at Brand Camp, which is something that Kristen Kalp is putting together. And I was curious as to what uh, what it is that she does, number one, and number two, why why photographers would probably would like to go to Brand Camp to, to listen to her. So um, to put you on the spot there a little bit, Anna, mm-hmm. tell us a little bit about yourself. Like, <laughs> what, what is a heathen mystic, first of all? What does that mean? The heathen mystic is a nod to the fact that I grew up uh, in a very in a world saturated with religion, my parents are religious missionaries. So I actually grew up in Tokyo, Japan. I lived there my whole childhood, and I went back as an adult actually to work as an actress. So I've been on the other side of the camera a lot, not so much um, on the power side. Okay, oh, the power. Well, okay, all right. So I'm no longer religious. I was. I'm in fact allergic, really, to every religion I've ever tried. But I am deeply spiritual, and that spirituality is something that I bring to my work um, now as a writer. And I'm a master life coach. I work with women who tend to be extremely brilliant. Most of them have way more education than I do, but they also tend to bring a yearning for something deeper. So that's what the heathen mystic piece is about. Indeed. Uh- and you're coming uh, to to be a part of Brand Camp, and mm-hmm. I think for for for, for my audience, at least uh, who are going to be photographers, uh, what exactly are you going to be able to, I guess, give them or what share with them? Your, 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 your yeah, people? what do you got? <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'm going to be talking about has to do with boundaries. Okay. Um, and we're definitely going to be slightly in that mystical realm where I can't logically prove to you some of the things that I'll be teaching. Um, but whether you believe it or not, you know, whether logically we can understand what's happening or not, I think most people experience something from the people that they work with. That's hard to quantify. You know, it's hard to explain. I can't graph why one client makes me feel exhausted and drained and kind of, can I swear? Sure. Shitty about myself. Okay. I should have checked with you before. Uh, Right? But then another client, I do the exact same thing with them. And instead of exhausted, I'm like, I'm amped. I'm happy. I'm ready for the next thing. So the people we work with have a a tremendous impact on us. Absolutely. And so my hunch is that the people who are going to be at Brand Camp are not just experts at what they do. They don't just care about the craft they are there with all kinds of heart and passion, and they care. They give a shit. And for those kind of people in particular, it's very easy for us to get sucked into our clients' emotions, our clients' drama. It's very easy for us to over-identify with our clients' needs and wants. And what can happen is when we're not clear and when we don't set boundaries in that realm that's kind of hard to define and yet is so real. It's so tangible. When we don't set clear boundaries, what happens is that it can get very muddy. So if you've ever felt like you couldn't quite disentangle yourself from a client or you felt kind of murky, (laughs) right? Oh yeah. Well, so I have a few tricks up my sleeve um, that draw on my training and experience as a life coach, but actually also some of them come from my work as an actor. Because that's very much about how do we interact with people. Sure. So I have a few tricks up my sleeve that I'm going to teach to people at Brand Camp that I think will help them feel more clear in their interactions. Wonderful. You know, that's so, so useful. And not just useful in that sort of sort of banal sort of way, but it's it, it goes deep. It can go deep. I mean, I know from when you were explaining what exactly you do and, and what it is that you're going to be bringing us at Brand Camp, I, I can think back to those clients of mine yeah, well, I had trouble with. You know, I had trouble with because I didn't set those boundaries, and I. Can you give us one example? Well, um, I had a client, uh, a wedding client. I don't do weddings anymore, so I can speak to this quite clearly and quite honestly <laughs> and openly. Um, I had a wedding client who wasn't very sure, I guess, about my style, about my approach. Although she had had uh, one of her uh, friends. 
you know, friends' weddings were shot by me, and she loved her friends' weddings uh, pictures. But mm -hmm. when it came to her own wedding pictures, it seemed like I was not, quote unquote, flattering her. You know, and mm -hmm. I, I, I had uh, been very clear to her in the beginning when we had sat down and talked about how I photograph, and I'm more of a photojournalist. Uh, I was trained as a photojournalist, so that's all I pretty much know how to do. Uh, and I, I wait, wait and watch for moments and make sure that it's something that is emotionally, you know, connected in a way for the, for my clients. Mm -hmm. And when I showed her the pictures, she was like, great color, this and all that, and the emotions are great, but I don't look pretty or, you know. Mm. I was like, wow, um, you know. I, I, I don't know what to say, but except to apologize, I guess, you know, and, and move on, you know. Yeah. Um, but I think when it comes to these boundaries, uh, where do you think or what at what point do you think those boundaries should be set? Because that's been my issue is that, OK, if someone's trying to hire me, I don't want to be setting boundaries the minute I they contact me. You mm. know, you know it's, yeah. it should be at some point where we're in agreement, OK, they're working together. But these are my policies, you know. Mm -hmm. Now I have policies, thankfully, for my portrait business. Mm -hmm. I'm very clear. Like, okay, I'm not going to be spending three hours with your family. I'm going to be doing, like, 45 minutes to 90 minutes, and that's it, mm -hmm. you know. And what okay. I see is what I get, you know. And mm -hmm. now my clients are uh, very clear. Like, okay, mm -hmm. this is what he's going to do. This is how mm -hmm. long he's going to be there for. Mm -hmm. So they're happy, you know. They And... Um, yeah, but I think the question is, when do we post this to the people? You know, like, okay, mm -hmm. listen, uh, we're, we should be doing business together, but here are my rules. You know, <laughs> well, well, how do you couch that? <laughs> yeah, how do you couch um, that? Well, what's interesting is that I think we have this idea that boundaries or policies are negative, right? Like you said, you you want to work together, and here I'm going to hit you up first thing with my rules. Yeah, but really, boundaries are just a way of of, of being really clear about how you're going to take care of yourself and how you're going to take care of them. So if I was calling you, I might want to hear your policies right up front. And I'm sure you could tinker with the wording a little bit so sure. that it became And it sounds nicer, clear, yes. You know, yeah. here's how I work so that you get the best possible experience. And actually, you need to talk to my buddy Kendrick Shope, who's actually going to be at Brand Camp. She's a genius at this part. She will help you figure out, well, why is it actually important, not just for you but for your client, and then you just explain it to them. Here's how I work. This is how you are going to get the best possible photographs or the best possible experience. Yep. And in order for you to get gorgeous photographs, here's how it needs to work. Here's how it works best. And you just explain it. Okay. Easy peasy, Easy, right? Easy. Okay. <laughs> but the, the invisible piece, and this is kind of why I wanted to do this at Brand Camp, because it's something that it's hard to talk about, and yet when you feel it, you feel it has to do less with the, the policies that are on paper and more to do with the energy, more to do with how we communicate. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's a concept I'll probably be talking about called apology energy. So if I'm saying to you, so, um, you know, I really want to work with you, um, but the only thing is I have these policies and I'm sorry, like, uh, you know, eh, right? Like I'm totally communicating apology energy. I'm communicating with apology energy. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm, my words are talking about policies and whatever, but my energy is saying, I'm doing something bad right now. You're not going to like this. I hope you're not mad at me. Please don't be mad at me. Mm -hmm. That creates this really icky, icky, sludgy mm -hmm. dynamic. And right. whether they believe in energy stuff or not, people feel that. So there are some simple things you can do in terms of how you use your voice, how you hold your body, what you think about, the images you hold in your head. Um, that can completely shift what you communicate, even if you're using the exact same words. Lovely, that's great. Uh, I mean, that's that's sort of a sort of a sneak peek into what one can expect. Right? It is. I just gave you a little little hint. Little hint. Awesome. That's great. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anna. I appreciate your time, and I, I look forward to meeting you at camp because I'm going oh, to be no. there myself. So. I can't it's going to be so much fun. It will be. It will be. I can't wait to actually see the ground and walk on the grass and not mm -hmm. have to wear shoes and, and jackets like I'm wearing right now. So um, yeah. thank you again for your time. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm.